Moving on to topic number four. And this is a fan-inspired topic from Tim. Tim from the Tri-Town. Tim from the Tri-Town with his post about Deshaun Watson being a Karen and that he should play out his contract and 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 just finish his contract in Houston and and and, and like it. Yeah, I, first of all, we're getting a lot of traction with this topic. We're getting emails, we're getting, you know, live chats, we're getting folks that we know telling us what we what we should talk about with this topic. So this is great. Um, you know, there's different situations for different athletes all the time. When it comes to NFL players, I am all about like try to make as much money as you can while you're playing. You, you know, NFL players especially have such short careers. Do what you can to get that big deal. I never, you know, when, when a guy leaves uh, one of my favorite teams, it's, it's for more money. I never blame that player. I totally understand you're doing it for your family. You're setting your life, the rest of your life up. All these athletes have to worry about the amount of money they make in like less than a 10 year span because they have to use that money and they have to live off that money for the rest of their life. People don't realize that, you know, the rest of us work for 40, 45 years possibly longer, and these athletes are only working for, you know, seven, eight years. Is a, that's a good career in the NFL. So these guys got to worry about, you know, making enough money in seven or eight years to last them 60 or 70 years, and maybe longer. So, um, you know, I think there's different situations with these with, with guys' contracts and not honoring them and so forth. The Deshaun Watson situation to me, and what I've, I've been tweeting at people, I've been, you know, we've talked about it on the show a million times. He signed a big deal. They gave him a big deal. You know, he should honor that big deal. Yes. But his owner promised him something and then didn't deliver. So you want Watson to sign a contract and live up to it. Totally get that. It's a great, it's a fair contract. He got a ton of money. He deserves it. He's that good. But then your owner promises something and then the owner doesn't do what he promised he was going to do for that player. Who's your franchise player? Who's seen, you know, DeAndre Hopkins get traded? Who's seen instability in the front office? Who's seen J.J. Watt just get released? So you want this guy to sign off on all that. You want this guy to, to you know, take hits because the offensive line isn't good enough. But then you're not going to do what you said you were going to do with him. You're not going to involve him, not pick, have him pick the GM, but let him be involved in the GM process. Let him be involved in the head coach, finding the head coach process. And that's what's happening. He's just not given, been given a voice in that process, not even deciding it, but not given a voice. And that's what he's upset about. I don't like the way that like James Harden handled his situation in Houston. I hated that. He didn't come in in shape. He didn't play well. He was dogging it. He wasn't, you know, you can see it on Brooklyn. He's so happy. He's playing. He, he He's like an MVP candidate right now. And I hated the way he handled that in Houston. So there's different situations for different players and different contracts. Yes, players should, should you know, stick to their contract and, and, and uh, honor it. But when you have somebody else who's your owner or your coach not honoring something they committed to, then why are you supposed to be the one that's the upstanding citizen and honor everything? So that's that's what frustrates me, and I have no problem with what Deshaun Watson is doing. I mean, first off, it seems like James Harden didn't catch nearly as flack as Deshaun Watson's catching right now. Right. So it's like, it's absurd, okay? So at first, like, if you're going to complain about Deshaun Watson, then you should have complained about James Harden. If not, can it? Another thing is, is this is just a simple uh, lesson. Hey, Tim, especially... This is a simple lesson of supply and demand. That's modern day sports, unfortunately. And so you're, you're supplying it. You're supplying it, right? Or your demand is making the supply, right? Go up and it increase the value of it. So it's like if you stop washing, then these guys won't make as much money. Or if you stop buying sweatshirts and jackets and hats and all this other stuff, then guess what? These guys won't make a billion dollars when they sign a contract. And guess what? Now we're, we're, we're complaining about uh, billionaires and millionaires fighting each other, okay? The billionaires are the owners. Nobody complains about them, but everybody complains about the millionaires who are the, who are, who are the players, okay? And so there's plenty of people that we can bring up in this topic right now. So you want Deshaun Watson to play out his contract, even though the franchise does him wrong. 
won't listen to him, promised him many things, and then failed on all those fronts, right? Traded away his best offensive weapon, has not given him any weapons. Guess what? Deshaun Watson led the NFL in pass yards with nobody last year. With nobody. Let Repeat that, Brandon. Led the NFL in pass yards with nobody, okay? But you want him to play out his contract, okay? You want him to play out his contract, okay? That makes no sense, okay? But the owners can cut people. They can cut people and cut bait. Kyle Van Noy, just like we talked about, signed a, what, four-year deal for $51 million, okay? They just cut him after one year, one year. Guess what? Luckily, Kyle Van Noy got $30 million guaranteed. So it's all about guaranteed money with these modern-day contracts. That's all you can really get. If you have guaranteed money built in, then that's exactly what it is. It's guaranteed. They can't do anything. They have to give it to you no matter what, but they can also cut you. They can cut you day one if they want. And that's the the difference here. So I don't see why so many fans are complaining about the players having a right and a say where they go and, and what they do and their contracts when they're not complaining about these billionaire owners being able to cut bait anytime they want for any reason. Just like, guess what, Tim, you can get fired at your job for any reason tomorrow. The, the Your company just doesn't care. You know what? It's probably in your contract that you signed. You can get dismissed for any reason if the company wants to do that. And so it's the same thing here. So don't complain about Deshaun Watson basically saying, hey, Texans, you're dismissed. You're dismissed and I'm going to a new team. So just just trade me now at this point. Um, and I guarantee you when he signs with a new team, I'll be wearing his jersey on this show. So can't wait. Let's buy it up. And, I, and guess what? My money's in a part of that supply and demand that's making these modern day contracts and i understand that at this point guess what i'm not in control of that i don't have the power over that neither do you okay so either stop watching sports or or keep buying your stuff and keep and keep watching sports i you get what i'm saying i just don't get why these guys complain and especially about deshaun watson a guy that has donated millions of dollars during hurricane harvey gave fifty thousand dollar checks to employees of the Texans that worked in the cafeteria. Uh, most recently donated 10,000 meals to his hometown in Georgia. During the uh, freeze in Texas, most recently with the natural disasters, housed and fed first responders, that's police and firefighters and EMTs, housed and fed them so they could continue to do their work. And then he also fed thousands of people. So just, you know, stop complaining about Deshaun Watson. Pick somebody else. You guys look like clowns. Yeah, the guy's literally done everything he's been asked to do and then some up until this point. And now he's saying, how come you aren't doing everything that you said you would do? And that, that's the biggest thing right there. Real quick, too, one of the some folks think one of the reasons why Kyle Van Noy just got cut after one year into his deal is that Miami's clearing cap space to make a big trade for, that's right, Deshaun Watson. So we'll we'll have to uh, continue to monitor that situation. We were talking about Deshaun Watson since we started this show a few weeks ago, and uh, it it's continues to play out here uh, in 2021.